What's up, chat? What's up, YouTube? This is the Needed Podcast episode. What are we at? Episode 116. And I'll be honest, I didn't have to do it to Earl. I didn't want to. But, you know, when your friend goes out there, he scores zero points. It has to be said. It has to happen. It is episode 0000. Now, like I said, I didn't want to be the one. But we got to talk about it. Zero, zero, zero. Now, I don't know how many of these route combinations we need to go over. I don't know how much you guys really want to watch it. But my man scores zero points. But we'll get into it in more depth. Like I said, this is the Needle Podcast episode 116, boys. I, this is probably the most action we've had to talk about ever in the history of, of the podcast. This was, I don't want to say the best games, the slated games, but probably the most epic, the most talked about, or the, the most, uh, you know, just unexplainable games, right? We just have so much content to talk about from Madden games. Now, be honest, I didn't get to the P.O. box to check CP2's mail. There was a snowstorm. Where are you guys at in the chat? Let me know where you live. Are you guys dealing with the snowstorm? Uh, here in Ohio, we probably got about a foot. And we got like back-to-back -back days, too. So, like, it was yesterday, I cleaned the car. I got ready to go. Uh, the her, the it, Everything was frozen. Then it snowed again last night. So, super snow. I did not get to the mailbox to check CP2's mail. So, if you do, guys... Do still want to send them some onesies, a card, whatever, for my my little man, the African Viking, the P.O. Box. Type exclamation point P.O. Box. It will pop up in the chat. I will check that again next week. So that's important. So we have been dealing with the snow. So hopefully you guys are staying inside, staying safe, playing some video games, man, because the snow is nasty, especially on the, especially on the East Coast. I know it's pretty rough over there. You guys know my family lives there. Um, so it's definitely getting rough with the snow. But... That being said, man, there was great games, um, probably the most interesting games. But Earl went out there and scored zero, boys. Now, this is what I want you to do. If you scored as many points as Earl in the final 32 Club Series, I want you guys to put an emote in the chat. I don't care what emote you pick. I want to know who else scored as many points as Earl did. Because you know what? I scored as many as Earl did. What about you guys? You know, I, I feel like we all scored pretty similar. I should see a lot of emotes in the chat. There it is. There it is. Those are the emotes I like to see because, you know, we all we all scored with Earl. We all were able to put up what Earl did. You know, we all could have been there. That's that's pretty much what lets you know. Bot Wars is a great representation of what happened that day. You know, I can we say we were disappointed as we are probably the biggest community that are fans of Earl. We have to say we were disappointed in the scheme. We were disappointed in the preparation. We were disappointed in the goal that he set off out there with his offense. Were we not disappointed? You know, that's our king. That is the bot wars king, boys. Is it not? We got to say we were disappointed. Not in the loss, because let's be honest, he was a big underdog. He was facing one of the, the super phenom robot players in D-Croft. We weren't disappointed in the loss, because we really didn't have him winning the game. Nobody did. We had a little hope. We're disappointed. Yes, we all expect. We're disappointed in the preparation. We're disappointed in the creativity. We're disappointed in the effort. We're disappointed in the motivation of his players. You know? We're, we're disappointed that it looked like he has never seen man covers before. You know? I don't even think it had anything to do with Lou. Is Lou banned? If Lou is banned, can Ahmad check? I don't know if Lou is banned. But we need Lou to check in on this podcast. I don't know. Because I can't blame Lou for this. Because I've played Lou a lot. He's way better against man coverage. You know? We're just disappointed. You know, I, we're just, I, we honestly have to say we're disappointed. And like, my man Wolfie with the 14 mils, kind of in the building for a whole year. Milo in here with the gifted. You guys know, AJ the King, 14 months. Tippy's in the building with 19 months. My man Elmo with four months. Where we at? Lancel with seven months. J Raz is in the building too with six months. Kendall, uh, Jake with the bits. We're going crazy. My man Lurks is in here. Who else is in here? Justin. All right, that, that's my subs for the day. Soul right there with the six months. Man, but yeah, I just, I mean, 
Lance, we knew that. We knew and, and we knew Earl was kind of ass. That's why we rooted for him. That's why we had that's why we had hope. That's why we had passion. It seemed like we cared more than Earl. Right, boys? It felt like he got there and got satisfied. You know? And that's one of the, the problems. You know? Yes, he was our bot we sent to war. That was the war. You know, we built the bot. We built Frankenstein. We put the battery in his back. And we said, Earl, go get him. And you know what he brought to the table? Dog shit. Everybody went to, it was a potluck, right? Every, what are you going to bring to the table? You know, D-Croft brought the U-Trips. We see Pavin with the bunch with the playmaker. We see Fancy with the trips tight end. J-Wall with the trips tight end. We see all this goodness, right? Dog bring And what did Earl bring? Dog shit. Summary. Like, seriously, it was a potluck and he brought dog shit. I didn't see one good play. Bad. It's all rough, man. It's being said, I mean, he but Earl's not banned. He's not banned. I will never ban Earl. Time out? Yes. He will always be unbanned on ban requests. He's not banned. I checked before the show. Is Earl and because listen, this is a show where you want to hear a man's side of his story. We gotta see what the fuck he was thinking. Maybe he wasn't prepared. Maybe he had some uh, some late night benders with some hookers. Who knows what happened to Earl? But what happened on the field was not indicative of his play this year. It was not it was not what we expected. Who labbed this shit with him? That's a good question. You know? Chase, what's up Chase? I'm quite bald and I'm quite good looking, all right? You see? I got dimples, got nice eyes, nice face, you know what I'm saying? Chase do you want to be part of this podcast anymore, Chase? That's what I want to know, Chase. Because you've already been on unbanned request, Chase. Is this all we have, Chase? Earl overthought it. I think quite the opposite. It looked like he didn't think at all. It looked like he didn't think at all. Earl overthought it. So the lack of emotion. He got game hit it on the nose. The lack of emotion. We didn't see a smile. We didn't see a fist pump. We didn't see a, a, a face of agony. We didn't see a face of disappointment. We saw a face that was content, right? We saw a man that didn't have passion for the game. We saw a man that didn't care, right? And that's one thing we ask about our athletes. We ask about, you know, I root for the Eagles. You know, I just want them to go out there and act like they care, right? That's the biggest thing. The one thing that always grinds your gears as a fan is when the per when you feel like you care more than the person you're rooting for. Now, let's be honest here, chat. This chat cared more than Earl. You know why? Because we would have labbed. We would have practiced. We would have showed up with a game plan. We would have showed up with energy. You know what he showed up with? Dog shit. Dog shit. Dog shit. And it's just disappointing. You want your players to play with passion. That's all. That's all you can say. If you can't play with passion, then you can't play. For real, for real. He didn't move one muscle. We've seen him play bot wars. Way more passion than that. We've seen the slant for a touchdown. We've seen the touchdown to make club series. Now, let's be honest. Earl is a lucky fuck to be here. But you don't get lucky without passion. Right? You don't get lucky without passion. That's it, Lance. You either give a fuck or you don't. And what we saw was a man that didn't give a fuck. He didn't switch to a gimmick. Fancy, he switched to, let me call this play. There was no gimmick. I didn't see a read option. I didn't see a quarterback power. <coughs> I saw slants and then blaming the game because man coverage is too good. Now, I wanted to put man coverage as a topic because I want to talk about man coverage. I wanted to put NCA as a topic. I wanted to put this patch as a topic. There's a lot of topics. There are. I'll be there are a lot of topics.
because I do want to play man coverage. Because this is, man, eh, listen, my argument for man coverage was so prominent during this club series. It was, it was, it was the easiest argument in the world I can make. All right? This is the easiest argument in the world for man coverage, right? Look at Earl versus man coverage. Look at Evil O versus man coverage. Then look at Fancy versus man coverage. Then look at Ghost versus man coverage. Night and day. Right, boys? You had two people that are not good passers look like complete dog shit. And then you had two of the elite passers look very good against man coverage. That is my complete argument for man coverage. Two people that are bot passers look like shit. And two guys that are elite look good. That is my number one argument. You're right. Listen, man coverage is too tough for everybody about except 20 people could fry it, right? But therein lies, there's no skill gap in Madden. I saw the skill gap brighter than I have ever seen from man coverage in this game. I and and for me that that was that's my my closing argument. That's it. I I don't want to see an argument I don't think it could be argued the difference between Fancy and Ghost and Evil O and Earl. That's how I feel. That's how I feel about man coverage. And that's that's my number one argument I slap on the table. But really but um and that's tough, though, because Evil O and Earl, although they're not elite players, they're good players, right? And, you know, you don't want to see good players struggle against man, but we'll be real. They're not good passers. They're not. Slayer. So that, for me, that is my argument against man coverage. But back to zero points. There goes another thing. Quarterback draw saved some people. Prime Angels, we're not going to say Earl, but it saved some people. You know, you can't run quarterback draw against man coverage anymore. Man coverage being good is amazing for the game. It's amazing. I will die on that hill that it's good for the game. I want it as OP as possible. I want man coverage as OP as possible. You know why? I want to go into a game and just play man coverage and have the bots have zero chance of moving the ball. That's what I want. Yes. Some people might have made it there because of quarterback draw. You know what I'm saying? Slum boy. Two months. Slum boy, what's up? Thank you, man. Joe, I disagree. Jay Wall, I disagree. I disagree one million percent. That's what I'm like, bro. If you get bagged by two men under, I don't care if there's a one step. I don't care if there's a five step. No. Did anyone tell Earl about weak box? Now, we didn't even get to the uh, just giving up weak boxes, just giving up the hole. He just gave up the hole, bro. Earl just gave up the hole with the weak box, bro. That's another thing. Sooner. Nine months, man. No, for real. We thought he had. No, we really thought. Now, I, I listen. The other thing with weak box, I think weak box is the dumbest shit in the world. I will, I, I, we argued all that, and it's the dumbest shit in the world, dude. It really is. Just because I don't care if me, Trey, and Boogs are on a D line, that doesn't mean Sean Taylor gets slow, right? That's my argument. Especially this year with the audible down and run the ball shit. You know, obviously, years where you couldn't audible from a passing set to a running set. Yes. Yes, maybe weak box. But seriously, if me, Boogs, and Trey are on the D-line, that doesn't mean Sean Taylor is now at 72 speed. Thanks for asking questions about NCAA, boys. I appreciate those questions, man. I really do. I, I, my goal really, uh, and, and I don't want to talk about NCAA because we got all summer to talk about NCAA. It's the, we're talking about club series, but my goal is to have like a hundred man uh, online dynasty. That's my goal. I might run a, I might, I don't want to run a CFM, but I might run an online dynasty for anybody that wants to be in it for real, for real. It'd be cool if we all like got, got, got schools that were like in our area and shit. That'd be tough. 
Like, I don't know who Wesley might... Wesley might have to be like Georgia Tech or something. That'd be tough. Fancy could be like Texas. Whoever the hell you want. I, I feel like there's enough schools that we could get like 100 people. For real, for real. Georgia State or Georgia? Straight Georgia, Wesley? That's what I'm saying. Whoever the hell you want. I feel like that would be tough. For real, for real. When do we get our free net or 96? Let me tell you, Splash... I wanted to ban you, but the this, this, this chat was moving too fast, Splash. I wanted to ban you. I really did. <laughs> oh, man. But, okay. Here's the big question. Earl, let's get to this. Where is it at? Where is it at? I mean, every time I click right here, <laughs> D-Croft has the ball. All right. Now I want to ask you guys this situation here, boys, right? Game is over. Do you ever kick your field goal? That's my question. Now I'll give Earl some credit. I would never kick this field goal. I would never kick the field goal. I would take my shutout like a man. And I'm so glad he didn't kick his three because the joke of zero is so much better than the joke of him actually kicking a field goal. Uh, so what's the question here, boys? Are you guys actually kicking? I feel like that's like such a bird decision. I don't know. Nobody going out scoreless. Take the zero like a man. I'll be real. The zero stings. The zero... I, guys, how many shutouts have we seen in the MC? Like, I'm not talking like bad games and blowouts. Shutouts. Was this the biggest cream pie we've ever seen? That's what I'll ask you guys. Was it the biggest cream pie ever? It might have been the biggest cream pie. I don't know if we've seen zeros. I don't know if we've seen zeros. This game is not... Oh, man. Decroft didn't have to play. What's crazy is Decroft didn't... He wasn't even like... His robot brain wasn't even working. Bro, he didn't even have to set a zone drop. He didn't even set a zone drop the whole game. Bro, that weak box. He opened up the hole for him. Here you go, buddy. Game seven of Weekend League. Oh, it's funny because he's fat. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> oh, man. My man, Goat. Goat Jeezy in the building, man. What's up, man? Two months. Slayer with another gifted. Go crazy, Slayer. Nah, man, but it's back to Bot Worlds. Will Earl return to Bot Wars? That's the next question we have. I will tell you guys, as I told you next week. Listen, can you quit in MCS? I I don't know the answer to that question. Can you quit? Why the fuck not? Is my answer. You know? Forehead's looking shiny. It's looking okay. I think I shaved it last night. It's looking okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you're not at a live event. Why not just turn it off? It's not like they're not going to invite you back. They're, you don't have an interview anyway. Just turn this shit off. Now, that's what I'm saying. Does Earl return for Bot Wars? Because I will tell you, Bot Wars Boss Bot Wars Part 2 is in the works right now. The format is underway. The contestants are lined up. Everybody's ready to go. Where Earl returned to claim his throne. The Bot Wars prize pool is up at $1,000. It is. Right now, boys. Already. My man Fish? My man Fish? With the three months? Fish, what's good, man? Bro. 
he is the boss. Earl is always the boss, man. We got Jay Bird, Salty. No, Jay Bird, Vose, Salty, and 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 Earl. Those are the the bosses right now. You know, so will he return? That's the biggest question of the day. Shugs, what's up, Shugs? Should the real is that the real Shugs in the building? How do we get on the bot wars? New England Patriots, 67. How do we get on about? I'm going to be honest, buddy. You're probably not going to get on, but keep grinding, man. Keep trying hard. That's what life's about. We see Earl did not try hard. He scored zero. You know? A lot of channel points. That's it. Maybe man 22. The opportunity is there for everybody. You know? Earl needs to chill for a second. You know, he's been getting a little out of pocket. Uh, you know, we've been thinking about a bot wars without Earl, but he's the champ. You know, ultimately, it's going to be his decision. I'm not going to remove the champ from bot wars. I feel like, you know, the show, we kind of need the champ, you know. Drop Bird for Lou. We need Lou on there. Is Lou a staple? I think, like, the Bird can lose, though. The Bird might be a staple. I'm a fake Dana White. Oh, my God. Where are the plebes airing me out right now? Why are the plebes airing me out? What is going on? The bird is a staple of Bot Wars, bro. I can laze. Once he said I can laze, Amar, one month away from two years. Amar, what's up, man? Thank you. I can laze is a staple, bro. That's a, He's a staple. He's got to stay. He's got to stay. All right, now, have I heard about NCAA, Average W Plebe? It's my guy right there. Everybody's excited about NCAA. Wow, now we can fucking suck at another video game and complain to Clint. Oh, my God, why the hell is the triple option not in the Navy playbook? I can't wait for this shit. Last time NCAA was out, there really was no social media. Now it's about to be a whole nother football game for them to suck at. You know how many glitches and cheese plays and just absolute scummy shit is going to be in NCAA? NCAA will be a shit show, an absolute shit show. All right? And we are, I, you got to know this. If you know anything about NCAA, you know anything about EA, you know anything about Next Gen Madden, NCAA will be a shit show. But it's going to be good because it's going to be good for streaming, for the dynasty, for everything. You know, a lot of people that suck at Madden are super happy about NCAA. The biggest thing is the people that there's really people that walk this earth that think they're going to they're good at NCAA, but they're not good at Madden. There's really people that think that. My whole life, there's been people that think that. Like, you ever play NCAA? Because, listen, this is how NCAA works. You play for a month, Madden comes out, it collects dust. That's how it works. That's how it always works. You always bought NCAA to think, oh, this is what Madden's going to be like. Yeah, whatever rocket catches are in this are going to be in Madden. That's how it works. Boom. Once Madden comes out, it collects dust. Now, there's people that sweat the shit out of NCAA for that month. Oh, there, there's the demons that sweat the shit out of it. Audible in from, from goal line to triple option to five wide. There's demons, right? And then there's people that just go in there and lab and try to find what the new Madden is going to be like. You know, I was one of the guys that just played it and tried to find shit that Madden, that might translate to Madden. That was me. I, You know, it was fun. But, you know, for me, once Madden came out, it collected dust. And the guys that sweated the shit out of NCA always thought it was like, oh, oh, this is better than Madden. I'm, you know, I'm good at this, but I'm not good at Madden. Listen, I don't care about abilities, no abilities. I heard I don't want ultimate team. And bro, imagine a football game without ultimate team. Yeah. Why would you not want Ultimate Team? I will tell you, that, yo, the Dynasty, online Dynasty, is the, yo, I remember being locked in on that shit. I remember I had Oklahoma with Jermaine Gresham. Jermaine Gresham was a horse. A horse. You know who else was a horse on NCAA? Alshon Jeffrey with South Carolina. Oh, my God. Alshon Jeffrey was a monster with South Carolina. For real.
Oh, I remember this one year, Reggie Bush, as you see, uh, Shug said UFC. Reggie, bro. I used to play my real life friends. I don't know what NCAA it was, but they had like a light. It was like an X Factor, right? Like, and they would light up. And when they lit up, they would just break the first tackle, go into some dumb animation and score a touchdown. My friends would play with USC. And you know me, I'm, I, I'm, I think I'm the man. I, I'm, I, I really think I'm the man. So I'm like, all right, let me go ahead. I'm going to pick any team. So I would like pick Oklahoma with uh, Adrian Peterson and shit. And they would just get Reggie Bush, give him the ball, light up crazy, and he'd just run right through everybody. And they would be like, ha, 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 ha. Ha 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 skill. Oh my NCA sucks. No, NCA sucks. For real. The game sucks. It was always some it was always shit. It'd be fun. It's a fun game, but the game sucks. Alright, let's talk about Ghosts. Ghosts with the Coke and Henry with the choke. I will be here, be the first one to tell you, man. If Henry did not have pass plays, he might still be in the tournament. Right? Henry did not help himself passing the ball at all. If he literally just ran stretch, he beats Ghost by 100. Ghost has zero chance if he just runs stretch. Now, this was our bet in the game. Does Ghost open the Coke? Now, listen, I, I never drank water during a game because I always, uh, I always felt like it was like... I always felt drinking the water was kind of like a nervous tick. You only did it because you were nervous. That's kind of how I felt about it. Like, I don't know what to do. Let me go ahead and drink. Drink a, drink some Coke or something. Drink a water. Drink water. Because I'm kind of nervous. I'm anxious. That's how I feel like every time I watch one of these kids, right? Every time I watch these kids play, I always think they're nervous. That's why they're drinking. And that for me, I just never... Like, what the fuck I need a sip of water for? Like, for real. What do I need a sip of water? Like, I'm, I'm not thirsty. I'm not running a lap. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Let's be play Madden. Um, but I'm be honest. I, I it's really I don't really even have anything to break down other than yo seriously. Henry bagged this man so bad that if he just runs the ball and kicks kicks field goals, he we wins the game going away without a doubt. Without a doubt, I have never seen Ghost this god. I don't think I yo Ghost was more locked up than Earl was, one million percent. Earl had better offense than Ghost in this game right now. And somehow Ghost wins the game. No, for real. I'm not, I mean, I don't know why people always sip their water, whatever, but you know, they sip their water. No, I will tell you right now Ghost, G Earl had better offense. Earl had better offense than Ghost. Ghost, Ghost couldn't do shit. He couldn't do, he couldn't get a first down. He couldn't find a person open. Henry was this was I'm telling you, this was the best defensive performance of the of the the, the, the whatchamacallit of the tournament was Henry on Ghost. It, it, like I'm telling you. I mean, it, it really was just Henry turning the ball over repeatedly. Turning like look, here we got fourth and seven. Ghost literally Gets cheated right here, but you know. Yeah, but Henry, I mean, talk about the I I I can't get over just how dumb Henry was. Like, bro, just run. Now I'd be real early in the game here. Maybe like you don't know that you're gonna lock up Ghost all game, right? You don't know that Ghost is gonna have no chance to score the ball. Um, maybe you think Ghost is gonna come back and start dominating, but we gotta throw out a sack pick. This could have been this could have been a three. Cause I, I feel like yo this. Oh my god, I'm glad I got this. This is another thing, bro. Put some emotes in the chat if you score right here. I need some emotes in the chat if you score. If you score, I need some emotes in the chat. If you score on this field, bro, I forgot about this. I'm so glad. It wasn't even a topic. It wasn't even something I was going to bring up. I forgot about how absolutely nasty this was. Oh, my God. 
ha like no like this is this is worse than bugs yo like what was that <laughs> oh, where are you going <laughs> oh my guy where are you going where yo now listen this is this is the worst shit ever now okay We've all been on defense, like, right now. Say you throw that pick. Tell me your level of panic to try to make sure it's not a touchdown. Henry is panicking right now, right? Henry is panicking, shitting his pants, saying, please don't let this be a touchdown, right? Henry is panicking. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yo, I don't know what the hell he did, right? So you're you're pan you, you gotta know that your opponent is panicking. All you have to do is run straight. First of all, he tried to do a shitty ass move when he didn't even need to. Look how much grass you have in front of you. How are you doing a move already? <laughs> what where are you going? <laughs> His thumb slip. Bro, this is like oh that, that like this is just the worst shit ever. This is this is disgusting. You don't even gotta do a move. I can't lie though. If he meant to like go sideways, this move would have been crazy if he like bopped somebody and went sideways. Cause he he cut on a dime and went right fast as shit, didn't he? Bro, you gotta make him make him. You gotta make him make a play. He made Henry do nothing with his controller. I'm telling you. This is the this is the goal when you have the offense. You have to make your opponent make a play. Oh my God! I think everybody's scoring on this. Bot Wars is Greg Paul scores on this chat. Greg Paul scores on this play. But anyway, the main thing I want to take away from this 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 whole game is that bro, if Henry just didn't pass, and here goes another one. I, I don't know. I think he gets his three here because this is a I should run the ball, Henry. Run the ball. Ghost can't score at all. Get your field goal. I want to say he gets three here. I mean, almost throws a pick there. He almost throws a pick there. Earl still got zero points. Clef, this is my question, Clef. Would you kick that field goal? Ice. Ice with the 19 months. Would you kick that field goal, Clef? <laughs> got it. Y'all scumbags. Y'all are scumbags. Arsenal, no, no, dead ass. Ghost cannot score. At this point, if you're Henry, you gotta know Ghost cannot score. He can't score. Where are we at? He can't score the ball. I swear Ghost throws another pick. Tell me Ghost don't throw a pick on third and 18. This is where, I, honestly, this is a rundown. For me, like, not even a rundown. This is... Y'all gonna call me crazy, bro. Y'all are gonna call me crazy in the chat. If you're down 6 nothing, right? Do you ever just kick this on third down? Do you ever kick on third down? Third and 18 from the 26-yard line. What's the percentages you get third and 18 from the 26-yard line? What's the percentages? 7%? This is a hard-ass first down. It's a hard-ass first down. This is my thing. Yeah, but the thing is, if you run, obviously you can run, right? But you're going to waste 30 seconds. You're going to waste 30 seconds that you're going to need in the rest of the game, right? You're going to need... No, I'm serious. You're going to need the time. You are going to need the time to get back in the game. That's what I'm saying. I feel like a run is stupid here, though. If it's the first half, if it's the first half, I think I think you can, uh, whatchamacallit, you can, whatchamacallit, you can, uh, if it's the first half, you can run, for sure. Yeah, I don't know. I think I kick regardless. I think I do kick regardless, though. Like I said, you could get to, like, a fourth and four and then go for it. You know, that I feel like I kick if I get a fourth down, though. This close to the end zone. I've, I've, I've always felt like it's hard as shit to score 
uh, close to the end zone. I've always felt that way. Like w once you get close to the end zone and with the runoff needing the time for the rest of the game, like, yeah, I don't like normally, like I said, in the first half for me, this is a run and kick really. Uh, but I, I, you cannot run here at all. You can't run because you need the time really. Yeah. I mean, I'm maybe, how, all right, hear me on this. What if there's like three minutes left or so? Not even three minutes. Cause then you might go full send for it. I don't know. I feel like the, the chances are so low that you're probably going to kick a field goal anyway. No, nah, I mean, I'm just, I've just been thinking of ways to, uh, extend the game or to, uh, fight back when you're losing. Cause I've been losing a lot. You got to get good at fighting back. Well, this is probably the worst thing you could do, right? And go, I think Ghost goes for this, doesn't he? Ghost goes for this. Now, would you guys agree that fourth and nine isn't really a go for a type of down, right? That's what I'm saying. I would kick. But that's what I'm saying. He wired really wasted a half, uh, you know, a half a minute. Now he's going to mesh post for some fucking reason. Who told him this play was still good? <laughs> okay, but here we go. And this is where this is where Henry just wanted to go home, right? Henry just didn't want to play Madden anymore. Like you could like he's bored of Madden. He's bored. He's bored. No, I will tell you this. He was so fucking boxed. No, for real. Ghost was so fucking bad. That, was, that might have been his only chance of scoring a touchdown. For real. Was that drive. Might have been his only chance of scoring a touchdown. For real, for real. Was that drive. So for me, I wasn't even mad at him going for it. That was his only chance. Mesh post. Yeah, this is going to fucking work. Ghost was so... I've never seen Ghost this bad on offense. Speaking of bad... I mean, dude, we're just lobbing. Yo, Henry was just lobbing this game. I've never seen a more lobbed game from start to finish than Henry. He lobbed this whole game. Here you go, Ghost. I feel like he bet on Ghost. I feel like he bet 20K on Ghost. Yeah, mess post is that. The only time I run mess post now, I put the curl. That's the only way I can run mess post. Curl all the way on one side. Like, for real, this is where I'm telling you, just run the fucking ball. Like, what are you doing? Then he throws a hitch at the glowing guy? <coughs> oh, my God, bro. Like, yo, he had to, yo, Henry had to bet 20K on ghosts. Had to. Had to. This is the, bro, what the fuck? This is like, I'm like watching fucking Earl right now. I'm watching Earl. This was just stupid. Bro. What the? This guy is glowing. Bro, I, I might be a bot, right? I might be a bot. But when I when I get on the field, I, I kind of do this. When I see the guy fucking glowing, I don't really want to throw to that guy, right? That guy's kind of my last. He's like my last option, right? Does anybody else work that way when they see somebody glowing? It's like, uh, I kind of want to go somewhere else. I kind of want to go somewhere else. Yeah, my man do a hitch right at this dude. Like, fuck you, bro. <laughs> like, fuck you. I know, and this is the worst part. Ghost, Ghost has zero. Ghost has an Earl right now. He's got an Earl. This is this is the, the the Pakistan Earl right now, Ghost. He's Earl, and when you have a Earl, you don't throw a hitch at a glowing guy. Fuck it, <laughs> right, boys? Fuck it. But yo, and this was all game, and this is why I said if Henry just ran, yo, if Henry just ran stretches. He wins this game easily. Easily. I swear to God, he like throws another pick somewhere. I swear to God, he just throws another pick. Oh, okay. Oh, he actually hits a Z spot. Gets over here inside the 30. And I'm thinking Henry's going to win, right? Right, boys? What do you think? All he needed was a field goal. It's Henry. He's going to go down the field, right? Now, for me, maybe I'm a bot, 
but it looks like Henry is just going to run right here. We're going to go to the two-minute warning, right, boys? Right, boys? Stray hand pick comes... Oh, no. Don't tell me I'm going to see the stray hand pick. Yeah, Henry's got the best bunch. Did Mac, did you see him throw the ball at a goddamn glowing hitch? Did you see that? Bunt, <laughs> bunch scored him zero points. In fact, if he didn't have Bunch in his playbook, he wins this game by 100. There's no fucking way. Yo! Oh, look at fat ass! Yo, what? I mean, I'm not I'm not super mad at this pick, though. That, I, honestly, this was like a super wild pick. I think I'd throw the same pass. Maybe I'm ass. But I think I'd throw the same pass right here. No, but he... Like... He quick snapped this shit. And, it, and he really didn't have nobody else to throw to. Like, because he still got this guy on an in route. He still. Now, I'll tell you this. If you guys run flood, this little delay running back route, just he fucks up everything. Because you can't throw the ball in the middle of the field anymore. Because, like, his, his man will jump and pick it. So he had one read on this play because he quick snapped it. He had one read. <laughs> I mean, that was crazy, bro. <laughs> Yo, his fat ass snuck. Yo, he... Like, and that's just a dumb decision, bro. Bro, you got this guy by the balls. You got him by the nuts. You ever play a game and just know when you have somebody by the nuts? Ghost can't score. He can't get a first down. You ha and you're in field goal range already. Is it really time to quick snap? My question for you. Is it really time to quick snap? You can sit here and do anything. Ghost is crying. Ghost's tournament is done. His whole life is, bro, his whole tournament life is done. For real. You don't understand the emotion and just the momentum of the game? Seriously. Why are you quick snapping anything? Fuck him, bro. Seriously. He's panicking. Ghost is panicking. And you're quick snapping the shittiest flood combination ever. And you get picked off by a stray hand. This is what I mean. If Henry didn't have passing plays in it, if Henry didn't have passing plays, he wins this game going away. Going away. Now we got to watch Ghost on offense. He's got to watch Ghost on offense, bro. And Ghost, Ghost, uh, honestly, this is smart shit. Ghost is like, you know what? I suck. I suck. Have you guys have played a lot of Madden? Have you ever realized middle of the game, I suck this game, right? I suck this game. Does it ever happen to you guys? Let me let me start acting like I don't like I like I suck. Yeah, yeah, this is just a shit show game. Look at Ghost. Oh yeah, big throw right there. Stayed in bounds though, I think. Okay. No, seriously, like sometimes my man trumpet with the raid. Trumpet. What's up, Trumpet Gang? Talk to me. We're talking about a little MCS right here. We're going over some games, talking about how bad people were. How, how bad good players were, you know? Kick three and pray. Henry do all his picks on first down. That's a cap. No, well, the last one was second down. Uh-oh, back to mesh post we go, boys. Back to the mesh post we go. Good sack. You just take a sack right here. That's a good play by Ghost, right, boys? That's a great play by Ghost, right? Please need it. Wow. Wow, Trump. He's a scumbag. Don't give him anything. That's a good play by Ghost. Right here, you take the delay. Smart man. We're going to talk more about taking delays later in the game when we get to Fancy's boneheaded shit. A lot of boneheaded shit here, boys. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. Every time we see Ghost kick, we worry, right? We all worry, right, boys? We all worry when Ghost kicks. Now, I don't know how you guys feel about kicking on All Madden. I feel like this kick should be closer. Not the best effort, right, boys? Not the best effort on the kick. Could have been better. You know, I feel like this... And, and, and to me, it alarms me how good these kicks are. Like, that's clearly all the way out of the white. It's clearly on the blue, right? Look, I mean, that is right down the middle. It's not even close to the upright. It's not even scary. It's not even scary, right, boys? It's not like, come on, Madden. We got to be a little tougher on the guys. A little bit harder. Pause. But here we go. I will tell you something about goals, too, that I noticed during this game, right? Now, I don't know if you guys picked up on this. Ghost was really good against Bunch, right? 
Every time Henry went to something else, Ghost was lost. Now, I will tell you these people like Ghost and Drinny and all these guys, they're too good to play the league, right? I think the best players grind weekend league. And Skimbo will always felt this way too, man, because you see everything, right? I felt like Ghost never saw a bunch tight end. He never saw spread. He never saw anything that Henry went to other than bunch. Every time Henry went to something that wasn't bunch, Henry got a big play. Well, other than that one, you know, I'm serious, and it come. It, it really, it really works at, at this drive for the most part, um, because Henry is kind. I don't want to say he's boxed in bunch. But he's definitely slowed down. Although that was a great throw. Uh, Rich Gannon was frying for people. He really was. All the bubble gum comes out of weekend league. It does. And you got to know how to defend that. See, Ghost using timeouts, you know, things like that, man. Honestly, this is just a shit. Ghost. Ghost might be some ass, bro. Corner route, bang. Jerry Rice, bang. Out of bounds. 41 seconds. Henry has no timeouts, Coles. This is where, you know, I'm, I'm in the back of the end zone, boys. I'm in the back of the end zone. And I use my last timeout. So, Ghost has no timeouts. Underneath. Time is running right now. The clock is running I love Henry spiking the ball. I don't see enough spikes anymore, man. The spike, if it's second down, third down, maybe not third down, but it's first and second down, I'm, I'm a big spike guy. Now, this is where Ghost, and, and listen, Ghost don't know what to do right now. Ghost don't know what to do on defense, because I'll be honest, I don't know what to do on defense. But the number one route combo in this shit-ass thing for this is corner routes from the slot, right? I feel like you have to run cover two against spread, but then cover two sucks. I'll be honest, spread is pretty good, right? Spread is pretty good. But Ghost don't know what to do because he doesn't play the league. How many games has Ghost played against spread? He doesn't know the route combos. So he's out here just free. He don't know what the hell to do. He motions over. That motion always fucks man coverage somehow. Boom, wide open, no cloud zone, no nothing. Ghost gives it up, and we see Ghost doing the joke. You see Ghost doing the joke, hands on the face. Henry saying, thank God I got out of this game. I sucked. I played stupid as shit, and I still got there. Yeah, he don't play weekend league. Panic, I don't, I don't know what makes y'all think. What I saw, I, Henry, this was like the worst. Like, this game was just... From start to finish was like pfft, Basuda. That should have been game. You give a man like Ghost 20 seconds, no timeouts to get a field goal. What does Ghost do? You know? That's the question I have. What does Ghost do? He's gonna do nothing. He's gonna run and throw the ball away. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. What are you doing 15 seconds? You got to throw to the sideline, right? The worst part about this is Ghost is in the middle of the field. I feel like when I'm in the middle of the field, none of my shit on the sideline works. None of them, right? None of my... I can't throw over flat zones. I can't throw in front of flat zones. I can't do shit when I'm in the middle of the field. I can't do anything. Right? But we go to the outside... I mean, I, I, first of all, I don't even know what defense... What are we doing here? What? This is what I want to know. What the fuck is this guy doing? All right? We're not even going to talk about the lurk. Do we have a five-yard zone out here? Do we really? Do we really have a five-yard zone out here? This is a five-yard zone! A five-yard! That's a bigger problem to me than the lurk. I Bro... I would be, if I had, first of all, I wouldn't, in these situations, I'd never put two flat zones. If you want to throw into the flat and get, I'm, I'm probably 25s 
right? If you want to throw in the flat for four or five yards of pop and get out of bounds, you're not going to have enough to go out here. Bro, so I don't. I, you're better off blitzing these guys than having a five. And this is what I mean about flat. Seriously, this is what I mean about zone drops. This dude don't give a shit about nothing but five. He don't care. This dude gets behind him. He don't go with him at all. If this was a stock purple, he might have got a little bit crazy. All right, and if we do run the Mabel shit, it's like 10, it's like 15 and, and 30, right? So you have no, and this is my point, there's no Mabel here. How do you go, now, maybe because Ghost flipped him? He might have flipped him, and now you got to guard deep. Now, if he flips him, you know you got to guard deep corner, right? If he flips, you have no corner zone over here. Good flip by Ghost, right? You have to guard the deep guy. You have to just stay on this guy. Good play by Ghost, right? I mean... Good throw by Ghost, right? I, I don't think you can contain a three-man rush. A three-man rush would still get double teamed, and he'd be able to roll out. Man, that was that was a good flip, honestly. It was a good flip. It worked for Ghost. I would never have five-yard zones. I would never have five. Obviously, never have five-yard zones. And Ghost ties the game up. I'll be honest. I don't remember what the fuck happens in overtime. Henry gets the ball. Does he do some dumb shit? Let's find out, boys. I know Ghost wins on a run commit. I know that. Clef, that's, that's exactly how I feel. Oh, my God, dude. 25-yard flats. No purples. Get purples off of my field. I mean, that was a money. Was that flood? He's throwing like a curl. I swear to God, yo, the bots on Weekend League always lurk right there. They never, man, I gotta do the running back throw. Now, this was a game that we did talk about, would you actually kick in overtime? This was definitely uh, one of those games, would you kick in overtime? And I don't know if you guys think about that, if you guys would ever kick in overtime. I don't think I would ever kick in overtime. Because the worst thing that could happen to you is having to live with that decision forever. You know, I, I think I would definitely always receive the ball. No, I think I would always receive the ball. No matter how shitty I played, I think I would always receive. Just so I didn't have to think about it, really. Because if you give up, if you, if some, if you kick the ball... And you give somebody a touchdown to win the game, you would think about that forever. You really would. I'm a big, I'm a big, I don't want to think about, yeah, yeah, 10 cap versus 10 cap is, <laughs> that's a nasty, that's a nasty Jaybird world right there, bro. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like, I don't care how bad you are on offense, that game, I feel like just the way, and Skimbo said you need Washington playbook for this play. Mm, do we need Washington? I I personally feel like he'd been better off with no streak. <laughs> now, am I wrong? You guys know better than me. I feel like if he had no streak, maybe the deep blue wouldn't have been as far down the field. I don't know. I feel like the streak got that deep blue going deep down the field. Like, he has no chance. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, who knows? But, I mean, listen. If you're Henry, this is not the worst place to be, right? Ah, uh, fuck, I do a pick. Who cares? He's on the two-yard line. He hasn't got a first down all day, right? I, I and, and I don't know if you guys agree with me. For me, right, that's what I'm saying. For me, I was thinking Ghost about to lose on a safety. That's what I was thinking. I don't know what you guys are thinking. That's kind of how I was thinking. <laughs> the way Ghost been playing, he about to lose on a safety. I mean, I wouldn't call it a 99-yard drive, really. <laughs> I mean, this was a hell of a pass. 
That that was a hell of a pass. I'll be I, that I was I was like that was the ghost best play. Cause first of all, I, it looked like he didn't know what the fuck to do. Then he missled that shit in there. That that was a really good pass, really. He did send everybody. Ghost blocked everybody. Now, now listen. Ghost start doing the audible down. He says I suck right now and audible back up. That's nasty, boys. Chat. That's nasty. Nasty behavior from Ghost. Nasty behavior. I'll be real. Nasty behavior right here. Nasty. And you see Henry like, yo, this is nasty. This is nasty. Nasty behavior. Sometimes you need to go, yo, sometimes you got to bring some nasty behavior to the table. Now, I don't know if, if I'm Henry, why run commit would ever be in my arsenal. It would never be, I would never run commit ghost uh, who hasn't run one time. I think I, one million think this is all accident. It's got to be accident, right? There's no way you run commit. Why would you run commit Ghost who hasn't run all game? And Ghost wins and Ghost kind of ugly. Ghost is kind of ugly. <clears throat> yeah, like, and he hasn't run though. It's not like he's pounding the ball and trying to run. He's not a runner. Why would you run commit? I think it was an accident. I don't know. But honestly, that that was a... a <sighs> That was a lob. Henry lobbed that game. Like, lobbed that game. Lobbed that game. I, I Like, I, I don't think there was, like, a, an entire game of lobbing. Well, he, he definitely ran commit. I don't know. But, I don't know. He lobbed that game. He did. He lobbed that game. He didn't want to win that shit. Hey, I don't know if nerves. I don't know what it was. I don't know. He that that was an atrocious game. Do I have a scheduled date for Bot Wars? Elmo, I promise you, you'll be the first to know. Okay, Bot Wars, Boss Bot Wars Part Two is underway. It's under construction. Everybody's locked in. We have some twists and turns. We have some new content to the format of Bot Wars. Elmo, you'll be the first to know. All right, so we go from an entire choke the whole game, literally just. Throwing a whole game from start to finish to fancy. Which would have been the biggest miscue in the history of Madden if Ghost didn't suck. I mean, you guys, man, you know, a little, you need a little bit of lotion, something like that. Listen, this was a super throw. Or at least a super attempt at a throw. Now, as we get into this game, I will be honest, Boogs has passed Clef on the cheesy Twitter account, right? Boogs has passed Clef. Clef, you got to step your game up this week, Clef. You got to step your game up. Boogs passed you up. Boogs passed you up. Yes, chat. Somebody confirm. Boogs has passed Clef up on the cheesy Twitter account. Clef was number one. Clef was the Twitter god during the games. Boogs has now passed him. Boogs is outshining him on the social media. That, Mallow, I'm glad you see it. I'm glad you see it. I'm glad you see it, Mallow. Tell Clef he got to step up. Boogs is frying right now. He fried this week. Boogs was shooting him, Jones. Boogs was shooting him, Jones. Nah, nah, Clef. He, he, I'm just saying he passed you up. Yo, they put Boogs on his joint. Yo, Yo, they put Boogs on the broadcast like five times. They put Clef once. They put Clef once. I'm telling you, Clef is number two now. He got fired him Jones out. Boogs took over. Boogs took over. Technical timeout. But this was a lob right here. All right. Fancy's a bot. Like this is this is like, like this is like really bad. Game is over. I think you get sometimes you get to these situations and you feel like a relief, right? Uh, you put a, a relief that you won, and you kind of forget. Like Ghost is sorry. You Ghost is a guy you could tell what's going on. Like there's a difference. That Ghost is a guy that brought emotion to the game. Would you guys agree with me? This is this is not Earl. Earl is a guy that brought no emotion to the game. It was hard to get, it's hard to root for Earl. I was going to say get behind, but we paused that. We paused that before I said it. You know, bot awareness. But 
Ghost is a guy that shows a lot of emotions. You can look at Ghost's face and know how it is. Ghost looks like his puppy dog left the crib and is lost now, right? Ghost looked like, look, it looked like his puppy dog left and he's not coming back. Ghost is getting no supper tonight. You know what I'm saying? He's getting no supper. He's a sad, he's a sad guy. He wants to cry. Tournament's over. King Ghost. So now here's Fancy taking knees where he could probably. So now you have 34 seconds. 34 seconds, boys. Now, one, you could run the ball, but that risks even a flukiest of fumbles, right? 34 seconds. We all know the play clock is 30 seconds. So Fancy chooses to take a knee. The thing about the knee is it happens so fast. This is where in real life you see sometimes the quarterback will hike the ball, take a couple steps, waste a little time, then take a knee. In Madden, this dude knees as fast as possible. Like, he, he, it's an instant knee. There is no time off. So you're going to have a four-second difference. Boom. Look how fast he knees. I don't know how he knees that fast. I don't think it was possible. So now Fancy looks here. There is a... There is a two second difference between the clock. I honestly want to say it's like a second and a half difference. Like, this is honestly disgustingly bad. He should lose just for this. Like, they should just kick him out. I mean, they should just kick him out. Like, bro, yeah, no, nah, you can't be here, bro. You can't. You can't play no more, bro. Like, I really feel like, yo, look, this is like a second and a half difference. So, Fancy goes with the kick out of bounds, right? Like, you kick it out of bounds. Right? You kick it out of bounds. I forgot the quarterback punts. The, the kicker lets go of the snaps the ball at three seconds. Okay, that's a big thing to forget. It's been in Madden for about four years. All right, so one. Now, this is, uh, I'm kicking it out of bounds. Fancy, like, I had to kick it out of bounds. I can't give him a shot to return it, right? You got to kick it out of bounds. Now, I will tell you, sky kick is glitchy in this situation because a sky kick... A sky kick uh, wastes about 10 seconds. I swear to God, for some reason, the sky kick wastes about 10 seconds. Now, I think Fancy purposely did this kick this bad just to make sure it went out of bounds. I don't know if he, I, like, I feel like, I don't know if he meant to just, like, I want to make sure it goes out of bounds. Or, I mean, you know, this was, a, I'm sure he's going out of bounds. Kicks at three. And I saw this. I saw... I, I was like, bro, this is going to happen to him. It's going to happen to him. It's going to happen to him. It wasn't... Yeah, see. Yeah, that, I, that, uh, yeah, that, that was that was brutal. What, I, honestly, I thought Ghost threw this game too. I thought Ghost... I thought Ghost played a really good game in the first half. Second half... And, and listen... I, like, like I said, I thought Ghost played a good game in the first half. Second half, and Fancy can tell you, Fancy didn't start bagging Ghost until Fancy went to a little more zone coverage. Ghost was frying the shit out of man coverage. And one thing that I don't know if you guys feel this way when you play in tournaments, but Fancy went from playing Evil Low where he just literally ran two men under and Evil Low couldn't get a first down, Right. So I feel like as a player, you get into that mindset like man under is really powerful, like it's going to dominate. And so Fancy kind of went into the next game on that same type of defense, and and Ghost was frying him early. And uh, you know what I'm saying, no, Fancy started bagging his shit, bro. I'm telling you, Fancy started bagging his shit. Oh, they were showing the pun again. Cause I just, I felt like Ghost went away from the dig the dig out. What's it called? The dig out play. He went away from that too much. Fancy didn't have shit for that. Like this play when Ghost ran this play. This play sucks. I don't know why he loves this play. Like what is this shit? And every big play he ran this dog shit play. Oh, this one he couldn't hike and they had technical timeout. But every big play, I swear Ghost ran that play, bro. That play is dog shit. Dude, I dead ass felt like I felt like Ghost could run this play every play. Every play. And I feel like he got away from that play. And I feel like it cost him the game, really. Now 
Like, Fancy's in shambles. He got seven flat zones everywhere. I'm telling you, he got away from this play. Like, I'll be real. I picked Ghost to win the NFC. I was rooting for Ghost. You know what I'm saying? I was like, bro, first of all, I wanted fan after that punt, this play sucks. Who are you throwing to ghosts? Like, I, I bro, I hate this play. I mean, he gave Moss a chance. Like this play. What? We laughed at Earl. Chat, we laughed at Earl, right? We gotta laugh at ghosts. Can somebody tell me what this play does? You know what I'm saying? Like, why we can't laugh at Earl and not laugh at Ghost? Every time he needed this needed something, he went to this shit. And he has nobody to go to but the tight end with fancy guards. That place sucks. That place sucks, bro. I mean, I, like this this sequence. And, and honestly, Ghost is one of the better play callers. Like that, you know, that's why he's good. He's good at calling plays, but I feel like he just went into shambles, bro. He really did. Oh, he had that though. He had that. Put just too much pressure. He did have it. He did have the game right here. Fancy boys got home right here. Fancy owes him owes him a, a cup of a cup of tea for that play. Fancy owes him a cup of tea. Fancy owes them a cup of tea for that play. That saved them the money right there. Two D linemen. That, that wasn't the worst play call. I feel like you got to block. I feel like if he blocks the running back, he has time. I feel like when you block the running back against a three-man rush, it, it, it's kind of weak. But again, we went to this shit play. We went to a shit play. We didn't run the tight end corner route one time, bro. Bro, and no, this is why, yo, this, I just, bro, like, and we talk about a user covering every play. The only option to pass the ball is from tackle box to tackle box right here. So this play is designed to throw it Fancy's user, right? Like this play is like, like the way he set it up is like, I got to pick somebody's user, you know? And then he rolls this way. So, bro, this is all bad. I mean, he could have hit this guy right away. He could have hit RB. He could have hit A late. It's just you got to wait on the user. That's why it's tough throwing in the middle of the field because you don't know what Sean Taylor is going to do. And he kind of covered nothing and everything at the same time. Yeah. I feel like when he rolls out there, though, that gives him a better shot to throw RB. Like when he's right here, you can still throw the ball to RB right here. Low ball and aggressive catch, you're getting 10 yards. If he's still in the pocket, it's a harder pass. But he has, he just, just, just didn't execute. And I mean, it, it was, it wasn't a good lurk. It was an easy lurk. Like, what the fuck? It was a good lurk. What, like, what, what, what was good about that? <laughs> that was the easiest play Fancy ever made. It was a good lurk, y'all motherfuckers. It was a good lurk. I bro, what? I don't know, bro. I feel like Ghost went away from his corner route play. That, that was his best play. It was frying all day. I forget what, oh, fancy double meet him. Uh, Ghost laid down right here, though. Good call. I mean, fancy trusted the double meet, though. I don't know, bro. For the game, GG's. And then fancy said he will never, be. Ghost will never beat me. He can never beat me. Ghost can never beat me. Let's hear it again. We got to hear it. We got to hear it. Because I heard rumor in the streets is that Ghost is kind of salty. He's kind of salty. He's kind of salty. <laughs> No quit in the kid. One of the worst plays ever, and he bounces right Oh, that's not when he said he can't beat me. Fancy, we can't go out like that, bro. I don't give a shit how bad you folded. We can't go out like that, bro. That's in your legacy. That game's in your legacy. Come on, bro. That's in your legacy. You can't go out like that, right, boys? I don't care how bad the game was. Nah, bro. You got to say, fuck him, bro. Fancy is old. Fancy dude's got a little salty. <laughs> Fancy dude got a little salty voice. I don't know. Yeah, he's the Lord, but you can't. Bro, listen. No matter what happens, bro, you got to say, fuck him. I won, right? 
Right? Come on, bro. Yeah, bum ass goals. I, I no, the only thing about that last play is that when you see the double me, you gotta respect it, bro. You did you damn sure can't press the double me and then have no safety over the top, right? That can't that can't be the uh that can't be the defense with for double me, right? Does anybody else agree? That's all. I'm talking shit out of that. Fuck him, bro. We need more chaos. Yeah, you're right, Box. Yeah, we need more chaos. That type of... Yeah, so we need... Oh, my gosh! <sighs> nah, but that was a... That was a, a that was a a barn burner. That was a barn burner for sure. But I think Ghost went away from the tight end the tight end corner route. I don't think Fancy didn't have shit for that tight end corner route. He really didn't. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Danny did cap at Clef. You know what Danny did to Clef? That's what's crazy, Dukes. You know what Danny did to Clef? Hmm. Mm, he was all up in that thing. Talk about, hmm. Mm, mm, he was liking it. That's right. He was liking it. Mm, mm, every big play. Mm. <laughs> he was like, he was liking what was going on. You feel me? We ain't get no moans from Danny when he played this week, though. He ain't, bro, he ain't bring the same energy. We got to talk about Big Gucci, though. Where's Black Madden at in the chat? We got to talk about Big Gooch. Big Gooch. We got to talk about, where's Black Madden at in the chat, bro? He's the last hope. Oh, John Beast is still alive. They, Yo, Black Madden is not claiming John Beast. Why is this the, yeah, my man Dave with the four months, man. Gucci is the TNC killer. I'll be honest, I feel like Bunch got a boost. And we'll talk about patch. I feel like Bunch got a boost from this patch. I I don't know. John John Beast might be straight Puerto Rican. I really don't know. Why I mean you know, why, I mean listen, I don't know. J Wall Poison, that was a good game. That's a good game to talk about as well. We could talk about J-Wall Poison. Let's talk about Big Gooch, bro. Big Gooch is frying. Now, I'll be honest, Manu always, I'll be honest, Manu just loses, bro. It's going to happen. Like, it's just, like, inevitable. It's inevitable. No matter how much they gas him up or say how great he is or how he's, you know, he's the brains behind Trips tight end. He's the most underrated player. He's going to lose. It's just going to happen. It's just about when, really. For real, for real. I, I bunch are are we like we're going Gucci Wesley and Gucci Wesley and what's your, and John Beast are the only bunch guys left, right? Is there another bunch guy? Am I missing somebody? Pavin. Oh yeah, Pavin. Yeah. Are we four versus four? Right? Are we four v four? Bunch and trips. Are we four v four? Slobber knocker. Oh, this is nice, boys. And then we got, no, we got D. Croft, who's not Trips. He's fucking, I don't know, bro. You, yeah, no. God, I don't know how he makes it work, bro. He's done, bro. He's hell. D. Croft, I don't know. D. Croft, we can put, we can put D. Croft in Trips, though. Can we put him in Trips or he's his own person? Bunch got way better. From what I saw, I just watched Skimbo play like three, not even watch a whole game. I just watched like three plays, not play. But, you know, I saw the game. From what I saw, Bunch got a super, a super boost. That's what I feel like. Yeah, I feel like Bunch got a super boost. All right, first of all, Peter Piper. You're just saying everything. Bunch versus Trips wasn't even an offense in Madden 17. You dumb fuck. Peter Piper. Is it just Madden 17? <laughs> there are no thirds no more. There's no thirds anymore. J. I mean... Hmm... 
Yeah, so we'll see what happens. Um, but Big Gucci, we'll be honest, his stock is rising. Is it not? His stock is rising. But like I said, Manu will always, like, bro, he's just going to lose. One thing I learned in this game, if you're picking a bracket, don't pick Manu. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Gucci is, he's hot. He's hot. He, I mean, he could knock off TNC. He could. He could. This is like, like TNC is a likable group. J-Wall is not that likable. He's not. Right? Isn't J-Wall like the unlikable person in TNC? Like, J-Wall, like, like he's kind of the douche of TNC. He's the joke. Is he right? J-Wall is the joke of TNC. I think he is. Like, EMB is, is not unlikable. Right? T like, EMB, outside of joke, they're not unlikable. Like, little man is likable. Drag is likable. Evil low, likable person. Right? J-Wall is a legend. He's a legend? He's a Is he a legend? Is that where we're going? Holy shit. Bro, lights, don't type Keck W in my chat. Actually, what I realized as I've been watching other streamers, Keck W is like the number one thing that's typed in every big time streamer's chat. They don't even say like LOL or laughing my ass off. Keck W is the number one thing. I'm actually lights out. I'm actually glad you've brought a Keck W to my chat. I've actually I'm actually glad because that means we're evolving. We're evolving to the next level of streaming when I see Keck W's. For real. Because the Madden community doesn't even know what a Keck W. They don't even know what the fuck Keck W is. Exactly. What does Keck W mean? Fucking nothing. You know? In my in my life of, of streaming, I once Googled it. Months ago, I Googled, what the fuck is Keck W? The shit is nothing. It's nothing. It really is nothing. And it pisses me off that they... No, I'm telling you. It means nothing. It literally means Keck W. I thought it would be an acronym. Oh my God, I'm telling you. Keck W, bro. Shit means nothing. That shit is the worst, bro. By the way, uh, what are we talking about? J Wall is the joke of TNC. He is. The rest of TNC, very likable. You know, the original TNC. Like, T for me, TNC is, is D Croft and Fancy and those guys. Like, Spoto and Ice, I, I, they're not TNC guys to me. They got to put some years in. Does anybody else that You got to put some years in before you, like, resonate in my mind as TNC. Right? That's just how I think. Blocky, Blocky has to put in, yeah, Civil's an OG. I agree. Civil is one of the OGs of TNC. Now, Civil is, like, the fourth person, bro. Yeah. Like, like, Kev? Kev is in TNC. We saw what happened to him. We saw how they hung him out to dry. J-Wall is likable once you know him. Oh my God, the fact y'all know what Kick W is. TNC does not value diversity. Nappy, they set a tone when they sent Kev out to dry like that, bro. They said they set a tone when they sent Kev out to dry like that. Lil, black man was offended. But I will tell you, as we talk about these games and uh, J Wall now. I do want let's talk about this J Wall and and uh Whoa This J Wall and Poison game. I forgot about this game, I'll be honest. Okay, the beat goes kinda crazy for the the beat goes kinda crazy for this MCS shit. New Bob War song? Trips to the right side. Tony Gonzalez the lone tight end on the left side. Santana Moss motions over. All right. Many of you guys have seen this or will see this. I want to see the dot that, that poisoned the rule. 
I will tell you, bro. If J Wall lost on this dot, bro. Oh my God. He's gonna drop back to pass. Three man rush from J Wall. Looking deep. This could be oh a ball God. game. Oh, Randy. Oh, Randy. He has an ability called oh Boston God, Madden bro. 20. And in Madden 21, oh he's God, got it activated. I'm, I'm proud of J Wall, though. He didn't, he didn't cry about this that much. He I feel like when you're in a game, you don't that. cry that much. The aggressive catch. I'm proud. He didn't really cry that much this game, bro. He really didn't cry. He really just, just, he really took it. He really just took, the, he really took the long strokes right there. He took, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He took, he took the long strokes. Now, hear me out, chat. Poison, if you guys watch this, Poison played really good defense. Actually, impressive defense. He really did. As we see this this replay of him throwing the ball up to Moss, got to give him a chance. That's why you burn him. Poison played really, yo. Poison played really good defense. Rich Cannon did go absolute ape shit, right? So Poison's in the double A, which causes a uh, it caused a lot of problems for for Jay Wall. Honestly, more problems than I've seen him have uh, in watching him play the last month or two. Really, for real. This was a really good defense. You know, I felt like he blitzed a lot. I felt like he kept him on his heels. He really, J Wall really wasn't comfortable at all. You know, like I said, there's really not much for him to throw at, uh, and and so a lot of times I've I've always questioned: Do you have a safer defense to go to in these situations? Right. I always think, man, could could Poison have went to more safe? I don't want to say bend but don't break, but a little more prevent. Not, you know, pussy defense. You know, this is more of a full send. Uh, maybe give up a big play. Maybe give up, you know, whatever it may be. But do you have a secondary defense? Right? I was like, do you have a secondary defense that where you could guard the playmaker? You know, because I felt like his user was always occupied... Dude, right there, his quarterback takes a hit. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good. J Wall was bagged. I'll be real, this whole game, he was definitely struggling. He was not comfortable. You know, look at that, look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Good dump off, good dump off. This is where it went five on five, bro. This is where it went five straight. I think, I think Dion caught five straight passes. Because um, Poison did, like, full send the, the whole game for the most part. He just full sent his shit. So he kind of had to guard deep. He kind of had to guard the deep route. And because he's in cover zero, there's really no zones anywhere. So, like, essentially, and this is what Fancy did. So if you're playing Fancy or J-Wall going in here, you have to realize that they're going with this deep crossing route or the deep post route to try to take away your user and make you guard deep. And then you have the entire bottom, you know, the bottom quadrant, the bottom area of the field to work with your playmaker. It's a big thing right here. This whole play is what, what Fancy ran against Evil O and what I've been like, all right, I got to add something like this, right? I swear to God, it's just... Literally, X is just clearing the field. You got a deep crossing route, and you're going to have a playmaker. That's the only two reads. It's a two-read play. Uh, make you run with the crossing route, and I'm going to playmaker if you run with the crossing route. So he runs because you see the crossing route. If he lobs it to the pylon, that could be a touchdown. So now, now his user's out to play, and I had the whole field for my playmaker. Not over the middle. That was close, but you take it, right? This is supposed to be a pick. Honestly, a pretty shitty playmaker. Yeah, I don't know who you guys wanted to pick. It was close, but I don't think it was a pick. I thought it was a shitty playmaker. I think he went up the field a little bit too much. So that's three straight passes to the playmaker. Now, this is where, do you ever go to a secondary defense? A, a too, too high safety, uh, take away the deep one. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know what I'm like. Do you ever switch defenses? Like, bro, I'm kind of he's kind of putting me in a tough spot where I can't guard the playmaker, and the playmaker is the only thing you're going. Yeah. Bugs and Trey. Your playmaker's over in Clef. Playmaker's not good. Fucking idiots. Here we go again. That one was off the back dick right there. Back dick dot from from yo. 
<laughs> Yo, look at, look at how you do this, bitch, bro. The back dick dot. Boop. Dumbass. Ah, uh, user prop. I mean, you got a user somewhere, man. Bro, Rich was going crazy. I mean, this is the back dick dot of the year. But, I mean, you want your quarterback to make that pass. I'm not going to say it was the most wildest pass I've ever seen. Clef, you're tripping. Playmaker, he literally do this bitch five. He do that bitch five plays in a row to win the game. Five plays. Now, I'll be honest, boys. Are we ever thinking about going to a safer defense here, boys? Talk to me. Chat, are we still full? I mean, we're kind of getting missled right now. Playmaker's killing me. Are we ever going to a cover two or cover four or, you know, you know, tuck my dick between my legs and just hope he doesn't score type of defense here? We're still rushing two. Playmaker's just mauling. I mean, holy shit. Playmaker's just maul. Look how, like, bro. <laughs> Gannon is whipping that bitch too. And that's the game for the most part. That is game. I might have called my timeout, though, if I was poisoned. I don't know, man. I guess the clock's running. <sighs> One yard line. Rough. Rough. Yeah, Rich went crazy. One, four, six. I mean, but the crazy thing about the crazy thing about it is that J. Walt, bro, honestly, Poison played great defense that whole game. He really did. He was in the game because of his defense. All right, but bro, well, because J. Wall had plays down the field, that's why he wasn't able to guard the playmaker for real, for real. Yeah, that's what I mean. Having a separate, a separate defense to go to in those type of situations, really, and he, and he didn't really have one. He stayed in that, and he got fried by it. I think J. Wall committed more to you know what? I'm just going to playmaker, you know, up and down the field for the most part. A lot of cross body accurates. But you know that's why you pay a hundred cap for your for your quarterback, you know. Playmaker is OP. This is the worst. Oh, stiff. Damn, we didn't talk about stiff Meister either, bro. My man, stiff. Let's, bro, that's let's a, a lot of shit. I only had five. I only had five spots to put topics. I wanted to make sure we talked about zero. I want to make sure we talked about Big Gooch. Uh, the two games I thought were the best games we talked about. Let's talk about Stiffmeister. Stiff. My man, Stiffmeister. Stiff got cheated. It's been a couple days after the club championship, and I'm probably more hot than ever right now. And I need answers from Clint or any EA <laughs> uh, developer. Look at these funny, abilities. Bro. And these, are, these are the abilities that we wanted in the game. Sideline dead eye. Pass perfect accuracy on throws outside the numbers. Inside dead eye. Perfect pass accuracy on throws inside the numbers. And the other one, I'm sorry, was outside the numbers. Nothing about throw on the run, nothing about throwing while running or anything like that. Now, I do know it under pressure can affect this, and I labbed it, and I, I'm completely aware of that. Perfect pack ac accuracy inside and outside the numbers. Let's go into our club championship game. Look at this. PA boot over, whatever it's called, the rollout. Look at this. He couldn't stop. Poison couldn't stop this play. Look at this. Wide open. Look at this. Wide open wide. Look at this. On the run dead eye. Bullet pass. The game is registering this as an accurate pass. It is. There's no under pressure. Nothing. Look at this. Secure catch. Out of reach. What? Why? I have abilities. I have sideline dead eye. Perfect pass. Accuracy. <laughs> this is funny to me, bro. Why is that happening? No. There's been nothing about any under under pressure or anything. Let's go to our second time we did this. Same play. Poison cannot stop this play. Look at why. Hey, Clint, look at why. That looks open, doesn't it? Look at it. Look at it. No under pressure. There's a guy near him, but on the run, dead eye. Look at this. Secure catch. I'm trying to be safe. Out of reach. Interception. Cost me another drive. Now I'm starting to think to myself, maybe it's because I'm trying to a uh, possession catch. Maybe it's on possession catching, right? Wrong. It's wrong. Look at it again. It's on the same play, too. It's the same route. It shouldn't matter what the route is because the ability says perfect pass accuracy. Look at this. 
On the run, Deadeye. I am near the guy, but it's not under pressure. Look at this. Now, I am going for the spectacular catch. I don't know why it says secure catch. I think that's just the game trying to tell me what to do. Look at this. Spectacular catch. That's a spectacular catch animation. Doesn't even say out of reach. And I miss it. What perfect pass action. I'm a, and, by bro. The way, I'm that, a, that listen, bro. Has deep out elite, so he should catch everything. So I don't want to <laughs> hear about it. he didn't have a catching ability on him. What am I doing wrong? It cost me $15,000 in the Madden Championship. I, please tell me, Clint, any EA developer, please tell me why I... What do we think, boys? I feel like that bug happens when you take too long to... When you try to change... And here, notice, I feel like that bug happens when you try to change your catch to... You try to change your catch at a bad time. I don't know. First of all, I, I personally think he's a dickhead for having those abilities. I, I do. That's But that's a separate issue. That's a separate issue. That's how I feel. I feel like I'm going to laugh at you for having those abilities. Dude. I, that's, how, that's my number one thing. I, that's just not the number one. That's a separate issue. So it's funny to laugh at the abilities. But for me... Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I feel like that, you know, like, I, I don't think it had anything to do with the abilities, bro. And we, we all realize some abilities suck, right? Do we not realize that? Some abilities are pointless. It said, yo, what says at the bottom of the screen is dog shit. Can we agree on that? Whatever it says at the bottom of the screen, it's, it's pointless. It's almost irrelevant because it's always wrong or it doesn't help you. It's actually bad for real. For real, that shit doesn't matter. It, and it's honestly, it honestly laughs in your face. That little banner that pops up on everything is just a spit in the face. It really is. Haha, <laughs> dumbass. It was a bullet pass accurate, but you didn't catch it. Haha. <laughs> right? It's just, bro. I don't know, dude. I just feel like... I feel like he got unlucky on those passes. I feel like it didn't have to do with the abilities, bro. For real. You know? I think he's a fool for having those abilities. Nobody has those abilities. We all know they suck. For real, for real. Nobody really even has roaming or, or anything like that, you know? I feel like choosing... I do feel like choosing the right button matters, bro. I really do. I do. Skimbo says it doesn't really matter. I feel like some of those was bad, a bad user input. I do feel like, especially that last one, whatever that was, that was that was some goofy shit. I don't know what he did that last one, but I don't know. Sometimes the ball goes by your receiver, man, for real. I feel like sometimes the ball goes by your receiver. You know what's crazy? I like, I don't know. I just feel like having those abilities was, stu was stupid. That's how I feel. And that's and, and for me, I can't get past that part. Like, dude, those abilities are stupid to have. For real. Like, it, why would you have inside dead eye? Why the fuck would you have that ability? Maybe outside for that shit. But why not just have roaming when you have both? You could have both for one AP. Jules, you know I'm chilling, bro. That's my question to you guys, chat. When does your quarterback... Does your quarterback miss throws when he's throwing in a pocket? Give me a percentage of your quarterback missing throws in Madden. In the pocket, like regular throws, not under pressure. What's your percentage of missing throws in the pocket? Because mine is as close to zero as possible. Them dudes don't miss shit. 15% Dizzy Llama? Bro, you're throwing to some covered ass people if your quarterback messes up 15% of the time. 15? <laughs> Holy shit, you need a new offense, bro. <laughs> no, for real. Like, I, no, bro. Like, I, I really don't feel like the quarterback messes up. I feel like if the quarterback messes up, you really just got, you got unlucky. For real, for real. And he got unlucky them couple plays. I don't think it has shit to do with abilities. I really don't. In fact, I think those abilities were stupid. 
This is this is what a tweet should say. Damn, I got fucking unlucky. That's how the true tweet should say. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about it. It's not about the abilities, it's about damn you got unlucky. That's how I feel. Inside Dead Eye is supposed to work on any throw inside the numbers. I'll be real, every throw I throw inside the numbers is accurate. Be real with you on that one. Without any ability. Yeah, we just saw we just saw Rich Gannon long dick him down the field in the clutch. Behind behind the behind the back throws in the clutch with no abilities. He should have stayed with No, he was frying. He really got, did get unlucky. Bro, he really did get unlucky. Well, uh, imagine if you had Gunslinger, but the quarterback was lobbing. Well, I've played enough man to know that Gunslinger works. And the only time he lobs it is if he's, if he's tired. You know? And that's what I mean about how do you play enough and then choose those abilities? You know? For certain routes, you could tell the difference with Dead Eye. <laughs> oh, my God. The game is RNG. The competitive integrity is small at its best. Van Zant, shut the fuck up. And, and competitive integrity is the small at its best. And competitive integrity. Fucking guy, get the hell out of here, bro. I feel like, I, I still feel like the best players are there, bro. I really do. Maybe I'm wrong. I still feel like the best players are there. Do you guys agree or disagree? It's been a couple upsets, but that's what happens in Madden. What's wrong with a couple upsets? You know, Joke lost to John Beast. I mean, is Joke really that much better than John Beast? Really, is he? I didn't, I, I didn't see nothing too impressive. I didn't see anything too impressive from people that lost. Right? I didn't feel anybody, anybody, that, anybody that lost was super impressive. Who was super impressive that lost? Henry was as dumb as a fucking duck. <laughs> Bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he was impressive. Uh, Henry was the opposite of impressive to me. The Cardinals player. My man, my man, Chicharito. Chicharito was pretty good. For sure. I mean, he lost to Decroft, though. I don't feel like I don't feel like he got cheated. I feel like Decroft is really good. I do. Spoto was impressive. Spoto got kind of cheated. Dropped a couple yicks. Could have caught some yicks. Got mossed. But I don't. I don't think. I don't think Spoto like was upset and you know what I'm saying that's all. He looked pretty good. Poison's defense. I mean, Poison lost the game on offense. Really. Clef no. Clef got Clef got moaned on. Clef ain't get cheated. He got moaned on, Benny. Clef got moaned on. Earl got cheated. Yeah, Earl got cheated for sure. Earl got cheated when they patched quarterback draw. We'll talk about how bad that patch killed Earl, bro. That and, and they said it. And they said it. They said the patch killed killed people that ran quarterback draw. And Earl said it wasn't true. But since that patch, boys, phew, it's been rough. Did that patch kill Earl? It's a question. Speaking of patches, the new patch came out today. I didn't play. But what did they patch? Does anybody have the patch notes, mods? Can, I want to read these shits. Because I read these. I like to read patch notes. I like, to get, I like to get bluffed on. I like to get laughed at. Is it on Madden League Ops? Let me see. Seven hours ago. Uh, I guess not. Chat. Who's got who's got the who's got it? <laughs> the announcers was sucking Earl's dick about running. <laughs> they fixed the old line. No, they didn't. Shut up. Did uh whatchamacallit? Did um Madden Direct, did Agent K tweet about it? Oh, here it goes. All right, here we go. Here, I got it. I got it. I got it, boys. I got it. I got it. I got it. Is Madden Voice live? Can we go look on Madden Voice? 
Um, okay, and competitive only, which is every game mode ever. Only players with reach forward ability will trigger certain reaches. Okay, this is like, I mean, how many, we've all lost games because of that, right? Right? I mean, that, that should have been, Jesus. Extensive coverage fixes for cover three, cover four, man. Like, seriously, who, like, Oh, man. Oh, this is Series X? Now I'm a moron. Is that right, Spence? Well, you'll be a moron for 10 minutes, right? Right, Spence? You'll be a moron for 10 minutes. Fuck, boy. How about that? Take your 10 minutes like a man. See you later. Oh, this is next gen? Oh, please, keep telling me. Please, please. Let's keep continue, continue to tell me. You know, you guys keep this attitude. I want to make you make you watch Earl play offense again. Okay, chat? Is that what you want? Do you want to watch Earl play offense? Keep this shit up. Keep it up. You'll be watching Earl's game all over again. Okay. Xbox One, PS4. Because if you're still playing next gen, you're a nasty fuck. In competitive, oh, all right, same thing. All right, so I just wasted my breath. Okay, let's go. Fix blitzes with nickel corners and contain. So, fine tune deep zone defenders in cover three. Why? You know what? This is a body ass adjustment. Because, like I said, cover three bombs just have one adjustment to make, and they're not cover three bombs anymore, right? Seriously. One adjustment. My man, Tress Leachy, my guy with the gifted, man. This, like, no, for real, it had one adjustment. Tune the distance-based receiver abilities versus man coverage. So maybe deep out and shit like that is better. Address man coverage issues. All right, RPO, you fix that. Fix frequency of defenders doing quarterback slide avoidance. So maybe I get hit stick more? I don't know. Fixed an issue causing tight end to stay in his three-point stance after being motioned. But, uh... Ooh, tune the distance-based receiver abilities so the receivers... To increase the receiver's win chance on cut versus man coverage defenders without a counter ability. So, any corner without one step ahead. So, essentially, we're back to the same shit, right? Makes no difference. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, increase the receiver's win chance on the cut versus man coverage defenders without a counter ability. Yo, corners without one step ahead got fried anyway. Like, uh, that was pointless. Fixed the issue sometimes, bro. Tuning to outside deep zone coverages in cover three to improve the timing of the drop to get to the appropriate coverage depth when aligned over an outside receiver running a short route. What I saw is cover three is terrible now. Fixed an issue allowing an exploit blitz with Nichols corners in the contain assignment. New logic and improvement and movement has been implemented for pass blockers to better react to this exploit blitz, which is most commonly run out of formations like Dime 146. This exploit blitz. <laughs> Sounds trash. And that's why we don't cover patches here on the podcast. We just laugh at people. That's pretty much our go-to is laughing at people, you know? Like, it's more fun. Like, who wants to talk about that, you know? We like laughing at things here, boys. You know what we like laughing at? Gameplay, right? Gameplay. Gameplay, boys. Gameplay. Huge on the Dennis huge on patches. I the cover three I will never understand. Like uh one of the strengths of Madden in, in past years is that there's you know a bunch of different types of deep blues and they all do different things. Right? That's like one of the strengths of 
coverages, one of the, the different adjustments and one of the vast uh, different nuances of zone coverage, right? So uh, to take that away and make every zone just play like a deep half is like, what, what's the point? You know, we should just have one, we should just have one deep blue zone, really. Off topic, what type of car do you drive? All right, Wolves. Now, we'll, off topic. You'll be off topic for 10 minutes. Tell you that much. Just like, what are we doing here, boys? Are we just bored? Are we just bored? Isn't there some NBA on tonight? I think LeBron plays, doesn't he? LeBron cursed out a white girl on the court side. That was news today. I mean, Mo is in the building. 37 schmumps. 37 schmumpers. I actually just ordered my truck. I just ordered my truck. It should come here in two months, though. It takes a while to build the 350. So it should be here in two months. Speaking of cars, <laughs> Mr. Football 88 tagged a bunch of porn stars. I'll be honest, we, we are, uh, I feel like we gassed this porn star advancement. I feel like we gassed it a little bit. I feel like we gassed it a little bit. Yeah, I, it wasn't bad, but we gassed it a little bit. And, you know, like... We gassed it a little bit. Like, we've just never... I, it just shows that the man community really hasn't had too much interaction with the uh, with the uh, females. Pretty cool they, they, they hit them back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He should have just do a dick pic on the timeline. Like, he should just do it out there. I mean, if you're going to full send, just full send. Or at least post a picture with the, the pink outfit on, with the strap out. For real. Do you want to be a legend or you just want to be a, a, a pro bowler? For real. Like, let's be honest. Do you want to do legendary shit or you want to be remember, remembered for one day? Just being honest. He's a big cuddle guy. I'm, he seems like a big cuddle guy. Could have been on Bang Bros. Could have happened. Like, who really get... Like, for real, at the end of the day, what's the worst thing that could have happened? There's no law against that, is there? Support, can, can you sexually harass a porn star? Maybe you can. I don't know. It's a question that we needed answers for. And Mr. Football was in a position to give us answers to the questions we have. And what did he do? Kind of went in half-ass. He kind of went in with the riot shield, right? He kind of went in with the riot shield. He didn't go in with the MAC-10 out. I don't. I wouldn't say he folded, but I, I think we're gassing it too much, bro. I think we're ga I'm just saying. I'm just saying we're gassing it a little bit too much. That's all. Good job. Let's not start sucking dick before things really happen. So I'm saying. Yeah, he could have went in there with the combat knife. The, the fist got low. But now he went in with the riot shield. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But good work. He, I was a young kid. This is a young kid. Was I going crazy like that? When I, no. So he's ahead of the game. Credit. But let's not gas it up. That's all I'm saying, chat. Let's expect better from all of us. Let's expect all of us to reach the pinnacle. That's all I'm saying. Let's expect greatness out of all of us. Let's not be surprised by good shit, right? We got to set a better standard for this entire community. No, he's not down, though. I'm just saying. I expect goodness out of out of the community i expect that we're improving i expect that we are we are building each other up you know what i'm saying but th th don't, don't don't be satisfied is my point he showed up no he showed up to the duel and a lot of people don't show up to the duel he showed up 
He did his thing. Yeah, the throne shit was weak. That made it a little weird. If it was all porn stars, big dub. He are, let's be real. Mr. Football already gave us big throne vibes, right? During his game. We're like, bro, this is like a fake throne. Like, we're laughing, but throne might really be in his top 10 porn stars list. Like, it might be a real list, the way he was acting during the game. Yeah. Like, bro. I don't know. Budget throne. <laughs> no. Uh, you know who budget throne is now? Bro, you know who budget throne is? Is my man Civil. Civil is the budget throne now. I ain't know. I start, I went and subscribed to Civil's YouTube. I started watching. I was like, bro, this is like the budget throne. Bro. And he's killing it. Bro, no, he's no, he's really frying. Bro, he's bro. I'm ready to I'm ready to just be budget throne three, bro. I'm ready to do it. Cause Civil's frying. He's dominating. He's popping on the tube. But I went and watched. I said, all right, let me. I said, bro, I can't. Bro, what? Bro, like. He the what? Bro, I'm serious. Said there he is. There he is. I I went. I was watching the video. I'm like, bro, this the budget throne now. I'm ready to go, bro. Uh, sign me up. Watch. I'm about to get off right now and do some shit. No, what's crazy about about, about Civil though? Cause he's still like Madden smart. He be trying to throw like a real like a real Madden tip in the middle of his videos, right? Like he be trying to go back to regular Civil. He's like, whoa, that's a touchdown. Now, if you use this play properly, it's a really good play. You don't want to spam it every play, but you want to use it in certain situations. You know, it's not the best. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but then he goes, right, I'm telling you. He's still trying to break down to the regular. He's still trying to throw some regular mad knowledge in his video. It's not all full send yet. I'm telling you. But make sure y'all check out Civil. I've, I've subscribed to the YouTube. I subscribe to all the Madden YouTubers. They all pop up on my shit. So I watch from time to time, see how they're doing, check in. You know what I'm saying? Unban request? What do we got? I don't even know what we got. Let's check. Let's check. Yeah, he definitely started. He threw some vert hooks out there. He's got a vert hook out there. Then he threw the touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. So, bro, he's popping far. He's next up. So I need to start doing what the fuck he's doing. Won't bluff me. I don't know why these guys don't stream on Twitch, though, bro. It's kind of like, I don't know what's up with that. Y'all want Civil? Let me see. I gotta, all I got to do is hit YouTube. It's going to pop up on my shit. Civil, like, my main video. Like, my main, like, recommended. Let me see. Who is my, am I recommended right now? TD Barrett. These people commented that I suck, so I played them. Here it is right here, boy. Check out the God. The God himself. Civil. Now, I will tell you, of all the TNCers, Civil was actually on the hose when we were out. He was actually making moves out here, bro. Big Civ. Make sure y'all... Here go right here. Boom. We got Wink Goat, dog. Wink Goat is in training, bro. Wink Goat is in training to be my white Madden guy. Yeah, Civil pops up on my most recents. <laughs> That's my guy. Hey, I'm telling you, Civil's popping. He up to almost at 20K. He's popping. But, uh, all right, I'm ban requests. Make sure y'all follow my man. Y'all should say, oh, 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 look at the beaver. Kind of giving Jaybird vibes right here. Kind of Jaybird vibes. 
Like, if you put a Giants jersey on this guy, Jay Bird. <laughs> All right, my view, my view, my view. Bird's the man, bro. The bird is the man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, unban requests. Unban requests. Let me see. Boom. I just saw some wild shit. Here we go. Whoa, what the hell is this guy? Was he just banned? Whoa! Who is, bro? Like, bro, what? Frock Jake. Frock Jake is nasty. This dude's a nasty, nasty, nasty guy. I don't know why he got banned, but I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why he got banned. Mike Vick? Mike Vick? I probably was getting popped. I'm definitely learning how to read Dub Dot's moods and now will not ask certain things that would get him mad. I'm a huge fan and would like to be part of the chat. It's my guy. I'll tell you what, Frock Jake is a nasty fuck. Frock Jake. Knuckle bumper. Oh, shit. What is this guy? Want to go to a game? Is there a glitch that will keep you locked in the loading screen for head-to-head -head game? I've been stuck for 20 minutes. What up, Dub? I unfollowed you, Dub Dot, because you want to pay want me to pay money I don't have. I'll never be back. Cole banned him? Where is Cole at? Check in. That's bannable? All right, Cole. Could you unban me? I was going through a rough time in my life. Cole, bro. Bro, that, that's just rough, bro. Cole gotta chill. Honestly, it may, when I see when I see my mods banning people, I be wanting to get rid of the mods. I'll be real. It's like Shunny. Shunny, honestly, Shunny, Shunny is my number one ban people. You know why? Cause they yo the please be going at Shunny more than they go at me. For real, for real. This dude's talking. Look, this guy just in here talking about trucks. He talking about Benny the Butcher. Watson goes to the Jets, Decroft. Y'all think some of them do coke before the games to get cracked. Shunny's out of pocket. What did this guy do? What we're learning right now is that, listen, mods are out going crazy right now. For no reason. Mods got I'm I'm really really about to, uh really about to ban mods, bro. We wanna get rid of mods for real. Mods are out of pocket. My lord, I shall not fear death for I'm a mad and madman. Dang, who has the best wildcat playbook? Short guy Tony banned Sublime. I think I told him to ban him, I'll be honest. Might have been a bad time for it. Might have been a bad time to ask for uh might have been a bad time to ask for Wildcat. That's all. It might have been a bad time to ask for Wildcat. Might have been a bad time. It might have been a bad time for Wildcat. I, I could see myself time ban that guy. I could see that. Tony is not one of those wild guys, bro. Tony is not one of them wild guys, bro. He's not. That's not Tony. Why have we not talked about how Earl plays in his kitchen? We talked about copter dick respect. This guy, I didn't like this guy's vibe. I didn't like it. I didn't, yo, copter dick respect? Like, come on, bro. Sucking dick is only gay if you have your eyes open. Isn't that Skimbo and user's name of their show, Eyes Open? 
bro, are we are we are we figuring something out here? Is this Kimbo's show name Eyes Open? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is it Eyes Open? Hold up. Uh oh, uh oh. Eyes Open? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Bro, what? Eyes open? Eyes closed? <laughs> Yo. Free my mans right here? I am the vibe. Yo, this dude is on this dude is definitely on like his fifth account right now. He's not on this account no more. <laughs> Keep your eyes up, boys, at all times. You never know who will try to bring you down. <laughs> Crack the case. <laughs> I am the vibe. Cop their dick respect. Rose got humor. Bro, what what's this guy? Dub got a girl. I thought he'd die a virgin. Dub trash without cheese 146. What happened? Dub crying. I felt bad laughing at 40 year old virgin. Try vagina to simmer down, relax. Or dick, I don't know how you rock. It's disrespectful. I don't like this guy. Keck W. Big Keck W's for this guy. Yeah, I don't really like this guy. I don't really like this guy. I feel like he's not going to be back anyway. But I'm going to unban him. Because I'm not a ban type. Slasher. Lower the music. <laughs> yo, sometimes y'all got to... Yo, y'all not in control of this. Like, I'm just, Y'all got to realize that. Like, y'all... Yo... I, everybody gets unbanned, but we got to see. Like, y'all got to realize, y'all don't control this right here. Yeah, like, listen. Slasher Slash. Come on, bro. Is that really your name? Slasher Slash? No, it's not Power Trip. You just get the vibe from people. It's your first comment. You're not following. Your name is Slasher Slash, and you tell me to do something? Come on, dude. That's not how you come out the books. Not like that. You don't just come through the door. Like that? My bad, I'm new here from the raid. Sorry about the music thing. I was just trying to hear you, not the music over your voice. You know, I mean... No, no, but you gotta understand why this is bad. He don't even say hi. I'm a big hi, what's up type of guy. Are you guys feel that way? Like, I... I went to Walmart this morning in a snowstorm. I had to, you know, I had to dig out, dig out the, the, the you know, the, 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 the wagon. I had to dig out, you know, wipe the, the snow off it. Now, question, when you clean your car from the snow, are you, give me a one out of 10 of how well you clean the snow off of your car. Give me a one out of 10. I'm kind of like an eight, nine guy. What's your number? Are you the guy that drives around with all the snow on the car? Is that your vibe? And don't give, as long as you can see out the window type. I'm kind of like an 8-9. I like my shit a little... I, I like it a little crispy. Talk to me. Oh, you're 10, Mac? Okay, yeah. I mean, tell me how y'all think. Head out the, <laughs> head out the window. <laughs> head out the window, like... <laughs> Skimo, you, you, were, you were just a hole-in-the-window type of guy? Oh, that's nasty. Imagine living somewhere without snow. What type of boring life do y'all live? You know what? You live out here when it could snow. Any day you could wake up and be stuck in the house. You are at the mercy of the Lord. And that, that gives you the fear of God. And that's a good fear to have in your life. To know that, you know, at any given moment, your life can be turned upside down. You live in Florida. You know what it's going to be like. It's going to be 95 and humid every day. You know, up here, it, it, you know, it's, it's unpredictable. You know, and that's the type of gamble we like to take. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Snow is fun to drive in. I got in two, two accidents in my life. One was when I was probably 18 in the snow. Can't lie to y'all. Driving down the snow. I actually went to a trade school where I had to stay during the week and during the weekend I could do whatever. So I had to get back Sunday night and check in or I got like in trouble, right? 
So I take this girl to the movies, like three o'clock show. Uh, we get out of the movies, all of a sudden it's like this much snow on the ground. Now I have to take her home and get back to school to check in or I get like I get in trouble for not being on time. I got to check in, right? So I have to drive all the way home in the snow and then get back uh, back pretty much where I was. So it, it was a completely dumbass mission, but I had to make the mission. So I'm driving home. I had the 1990 uh, Chevy Caprice at the time. Big body, right? Not the best snowmobile. Not the one you want to take out in all-terrain uh, areas. Not, not the best. So I'm driving. So my philosophy was, let me go on the side streets rather than the highway. In hindsight, go to the highway. They probably plow it first. They put salt on it. It's probably safer to be on the highway than the side streets because the side streets, you're probably stopping more, a lot more different uh, hills and valleys and things like that. I think the highway is a little safer, honestly. But I decided at the time to go on the side streets. So I'm going on the side streets, right? Going down. I'm going down a hill. I'm cruising. Now, my uncle once taught me this. If you shift your car rather in first and second or or in the first gear or second gear, the engine slows down your car rather than the brakes. That's a trick if you guys are ever driving in the snow uh, and you don't want to hit the brakes. You can shift your gears between second and first and it will it will slow down your car rather than have to hit the brakes. You know, so that's something that I learned. Now, I, that downshift. Exactly. See, you, but you understand busting balls. So we're driving. And there's a little hill. It's a pretty busy street. But the Caprice, like I said, not the best snowmobile car. I'm like 17, 18. It just starts, I start losing control. It's a YOLO situation. Have you ever been in a car and literally once it starts sliding, you're shit out of luck, bro. Once it starts sliding, it's literally nothing you can do. You can't spin the wheel. You can't hit the brake. When that bitch is going, it's going. So I have this 1990 Caprice, big body. This is a Husky car, right? I start going and I smack this guy was sitting at the other intersection facing out to turn. Bro, man, he just, I just hit the shit up. Boom, hit his shit up the jump. So I'm in the car, I'm, I'm young. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? So I, uh, the, all these guys come out the car. They start, bro, they start knocking on the window. They was mad as shit. Like, bro, they was going to kill my ass. Now, mind you, I'm here with just a girl. Three of these fuckers come out the car. Crazy ass white guys. They were mad as shit. And you know what I did? I said, Poof. got up out of there. I said, I ain't fucking with y'all. Y'all this mad at me? Hit and run. I thought I was the man. I was like fast and the furious out of that bitch. I ain't slide the rest of the way home. Made it all the way home. I thought I made it safe. Nope. Fuck boys got my plates. They came and got me. Police. <laughs> Fuck. What's up? They got me, bro. I had it, bro. I got in trouble for that shit. For real, for real. I had to do, I had to do mad community service for that. Bro, they was going to fuck me up. I was out. But I took my chances, bro. I took my chances. But I had to do mad community service for that. And you meet, listen. You meet a lot of holes in community service. Has anybody in the chat had to do community service? Yeah. It was a scum move. But for real, they was going to whoop my ass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got DUIs too. Actually, my I think my DUI got dropped. I, I had to do two stints of community service. One for that and one time I broke some kid's jaw. True story. Broke a jaw in my life. So... I got a rap sheet. Broke somebody's whole face open. Had to do community service for that. Smashing pumpkins on mailboxes. Jules Miller, you got in probation for smashing pumpkins on mailboxes. I'm over here talking about breaking jaws and you're smashing pumpkins, getting in trouble. How do you get in trouble for smashing pumpkins? How do you get caught for that? What? You got to be a real loser to get caught for smashing pumpkins. Greg Paul. No, uh, fight. Whatchamacallit. Fight. I, I just broke my jaw in a fight. That's all. It was some kid. Now, I, I, listen. I'm a big, like, I'm not going to fight at school and shit. Because I feel like that's dumb. To fight at school is dumb. Right? 
to fight on the school bus. This is high school, like 14, 15. To fight on the school bus, to fight at school, to where you get in trouble is just stupid, right? We're adults. Let's fight when we get out of this, right? That's how I feel. So I, um, I was in like the hood part of like my area, not really the hood part, but you know, the more black part, I guess. Then I, I went with my dad who was in the whiter spot. And then like, cause I became the man when I went to like the whiter spot, but there was this one like black skateboarder kid, you know, one of those, one of those chance to rap, not chance the rappers, like, you know, Lupe fiasco type of guys, you know, one of them dudes, you know, one of them, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. But he was mad because I was the man and I, I was getting the hose when I moved out there, right? Now, when I say moved out there, it's like two miles away. But you guys know that two miles can change a lot in a neighborhood. It can. Shit, 100 yards can change a lot in a neighborhood, right? Just being real. Yeah, okay. So, a Jesse type. Okay, good point, Ward. A Jesse type, right? It's a Jesse type. I didn't start anything. They were mad at me. I was the band. So this guy pressed me on like a Tuesday. He pressed me, got my shit. I'm like, bro, all right, don't, don't, just wait. I said, bro, just wait. We gonna wait till Friday because you fight on Friday, right? If you ever been to high school, you fight on Friday. That's when you fight. You don't fight on Tuesdays or Wednesdays or Monday. If you're fighting on a Monday, you're you're not gonna make it anywhere in life. I'll be honest. You fight for prime time. The Friday fights are prime. If you're fighting Tuesday and Thursday, you are an undercard, right? If you're heavyweight main event, you fight on Friday. You fight on Friday. Yeah, you fight on Monday, bro. You're not, you're not going to make it nowhere. You're going to be in jail. You fight, bro. You fight on Monday, you're going to be in jail. That's just how it works. You start fighting on Mondays, you're going to be in jail. For real. Yeah, for everybody to see. Meet at the uh, Upper Derby. Well, actually, this was... Uh, we actually got on a bus. And then we got off the bus... It was on, because I remember, because the bus used to have stops, right? Like, you would stop at one block, then, like, 200 yards later, they have another stop. So, I remember giving the, the girl, like, like and then we wore, like, jerseys and stuff. So, I gave her, I gave her the jersey, I said, I'm get off, let me get off right here. You take all my jersey, take everything. That's how you know you were fighting. Once you give somebody your hats and your jersey and everything, and you just out there with the white tee, the, like, like, the U-neck, bro, that's how you know you're rumbling. You're going to rumble. So uh, the, the dude got off the bus. Uh, I got off the bus. And then as soon as the bus left, it was on site. I just went up and stole them. Boom. Knocked them all into the bushes. Buses shit all open. Um, then I hit him with a DDT. Y'all know about DDT? Then he tried to, like, rush me. I'm hitting him with body shots. Then I grabbed him in the DDT. I hit him with a... <laughs> boom! Right down on the ground. I am whooping boy ass. But his shit all bust up, everything. Like, uh, he had no shot. He had no shot. So I fried a guy, right? TKO, over. He's done. He can't talk. His whole, but, of course, there's a police, like, literally right next door in the, in the shopping mall. Now, for me, we should have scouted a little bit better, but it was on, right? When it's on, it's on. You don't got time to scout. So, of course, there's a police. He's over there. He picks us up, takes us down to the jaunt, takes us down to the... So we get booked for this, right? He Essentially, they let us out, Right? They let us out, like, bro, like, that ass, just for fighting. They're like, all right, y'all can go home. After we're down there for, like, four hours or something, y'all can go home. We went home. About a week later, it found out that his jaw was really broken. He had to get his jaw wired. And um, that's when they pursued more charges. I guess his parents or whatever uh, secure, pursued more charges versus me. That's when I had to go to court, actually get a lawyer for it and everything. And that's when I got probably another 120 hours of community service so that's what happened i got i got caught up with that but i did break his shit just all you gotta do is hit him with one good one boom yeah yeah facts shreds i should just throw him in the class took my suspension took my two, my 10 day suspension or something the book does in like we went down to like the whatchamacallit yeah probably 100 uh, it was a lot of hours of community service No, like, why would I make these stories up? Like, you, you guys think I would make stories up for you guys? Like, for real. But since then, I was like, no, honestly, since then, I was, like, afraid to fight outside anywhere near police. I was, like, afraid of them dudes. <laughs> like, bro, I'm not getting caught up again. I'm not getting caught up again. 
No, I hit him with a DDT. And y'all don't never hit y'all don't ever hit wrestling moves. <laughs> y'all don't hit wrestling moves. Like, bro, when somebody like grab you and like you got him in a headlock, what's your go-to move? No, for real. Like, like he like try to grab you and like tackle you. You know what I'm saying? But he kind of lower than you. You gotta go low. You gotta. Yo, uh, I'm a wrestling. I'm a wrestling ass dude, bro. Oh, I wrestle. I'm not getting beat in a wrestle match. I'm too big to lose a wrestling match. No, I feel like I feel like you you kind of once they lower than you. Oh, you wanted me to just just hit him with a with a arc with a with a what you call it RKO flip up suplex or something. I really just went to the floor, bro. If I got your head right here, I'm DD. I'm boom. We dropping back on the ground. That's what I tried to do. Nah, bro. You got somebody head like this, dude. Nah, bro. You putting that shit into the ground. That's what I did. I'm serious. No, I don't think it's stupid. When you're a kid, you're like, yeah, let's just box and street fights. Come on, bro. We used to say kicking was ass until we used to say kicking was like, uh, like kicking was like corny to doing fights, right? Until we started hanging out with the Haitians and yo, this Haitian dude we got, bro, he was like Van Damme with the kicks. Nobody would expect it either. He would just break a kick out right in somebody's face. Well, bam, and it'd be over. Swear to God. And you would never expect the kick. Bro, I'm telling you, Haitians are, bro, you not beating no Haitian in a fight. I fight, one of, yo, one of my best friends was Haitian. We got in a fight one time. I'll tell you why we got in a fight one time. And I'll be real, he kind of whooped my ass. But I'll tell you what happened. So, we're, it's, it's, it's four of us, right? We're on, the, we're on the patio. It's me, my guy, his name was Bernard. Haitian boy, short, stocky, husky, short though, like real short. Dark, and when I took Haitian, like he like darker, he make Ward look light skin, put it that way. So, and I'm sitting there with Bernard, uh, my buddy Ant, and Ant was like the joke guy. You got a joke guy, you always had a joke guy in your group, right? Like the guy that just busts on everybody, like the main joke guy that you can't you can't roast with him because he'll roast the shit out of you. Like he's that guy, right? So is Bernard, the dark Haitian, Ant, the joke guy. And then the white girl from the block, right? So I felt like my man Bernard was showing off for the white girl, Ashley, who was like, she was like the toss around chick for, the, for everybody. So I felt like Bernard was kind of showing off for her, right? Y'all know what I'm saying. Come on, bro. So I felt like Bernard was kind of showing off for her one day. So we started arguing about dumb shit. You know, I'll... At, then in high school, you argued about like gear and shit. Like your, your gear is dusty, you're broke, bro. Your jeans is corny, like your shoes are dick, shit like that, right? So you argued about. Um, so we wound up arguing. I felt like <laughs> I felt like he was showing off for the joint, right? And then he pressed me, right? Like he like stood up, like what's up? Like fuck out of here, he stood up. So me, I thought, you know, I can't allow him to press me. Because my man Ant is going to make jokes about this forever. Literally, what went through my mind. So, I was like, bro, I cannot allow Ant to make jokes like this. So, he was showing off. So, then, I, you know what I did? I went for the Homer Simpson choke. This was an L. But I went for the Homer Simpson choke. I did the Homer Simpson choke on, on my man. It was a little wild. But I felt like if I get him in a chokehold... <laughs> Oh, I'm telling y'all these stories. I feel like if I get him in a chokehold, I'm going. He's not gonna be able to do nothing, right? <laughs> because he's short. But somehow we wound up tussling, and I really don't lose tussles, right? Like once we start tussling, like I don't really lose those. But I lost this one, and I'll tell you why I lost this one. Cause he went low. Mind you, he's like five eight, so he's shorter than me. But he hit me with a headbutt in the face. Now, a headbutt is a powerful ass weapon. I don't know if you guys are headbutt people. Are you guys head, like, a headbutt is a serious weapon. Yes, like I'm talking like, who? And it hits you here. And once you get hit in the head, now you guys been, once you get hit like in the face and the head, bro, you're kind of, you kind of lose all your powers, right? 
you kind of lose. Once you get hit here, you lose your powers. Like, your, your strength kind of goes down. Your energy goes down. You can't really think about what move you want to go to next. You're kind of disoriented. So he headbutts me. That's when he kind of won the fight. I, he really no, he really didn't get any other fights, any punches off. I think he got like two, two more punches off and caught me, but they weren't crazy. But I'm gonna say I lost that fight. The headbutt kind of the the headbutt took the turn of that fight. See, I went for the choke. I feel like once I go for the double hand choke, you know, every uh, there's no holes barred after that. Once you go for the double hold choke. But that was my man, though. Like, it was like a man fight. You know, you fight your man, and like an hour later, y'all cool. Unless y'all really get fucked up bad. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we catch some L's sometimes. Bro, if you never lost a fight, you really never fought. That's how I feel. Yeah, we, we, everybody catch your breath, and you back cool in a, in a couple hours, really. Yeah, I tried to choke him like, like Bart Simpson. I tried to Bart Simpson him. Yo, the headbutt, yo, the headbutt will change the fight. Listen, if you're ever in a sticky situation, go for the headbutt. I promise you. Go for the headbutt. <laughs> oh, this guy got banned real fast. Look, 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 look. Nelson. Now, now, what's the what's the guy on the Colts? Nelson. Nelson actually sells for something. Yeah, you got banned. Fuck you, pussy boy. <laughs> Welcome back, bro. Vo's a bitch. All right, here we go. Let's go. Fuck Vo's ebook. Oh, this is sub too. I'll play duos or trios because Vo's ebook trash. No thanks, Cole. JT, he been a bitch to me. Vo's a bitch. I don't care. He's bothering me. Vo's mean as fuck. Hope he bans me in a stream. Vo's ain't even getting his GED. Vo's a bitch. Someone ban me because Vo's a bitch. Harassment. Damn, Jay, he was harassing. Vos was shitty. I bought his ebook for twenty and it wasn't worth it. I'd rather have bought a twenty dollar prostitute that just licked my ear. <laughs> his ebook tells you nothing about Madden. Sorry, I had to keep talking about it. Just wanted a man in the community to know I'm not a, to, to, not to waste their money on an ebook a toddler can make. Thanks for hearing me out, your boy Flight. <laughs> oh, this dude might be legendary. Free Flight. Boom. There it is. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. See how I'm talking about? Dudes be getting too wild on the unbannies. Dudes be getting too wild on the unbannies. They be getting too wild with the unbannies. That might have been the all-time greatest, bro. All right, boys. This is going on two and a half hours of potting. Had a lot of stories, though. We told a lot of stories tonight, boys. But before we before we turn the show off, um, what games are you guys playing now? What games? What's the go-to games? What's our go-to? Give me a go-to three. What's our go-to games? Because I'd be wanting to get on this Apex, bro. Apex is popping. I'm definitely ready for MLB, bro. Pops, I know you, you I know your your ass ain't on Fortnite. Clash of Clans, bro. I, yo, I'm down bad on Clash. I only got one attack that I do. I'm getting fried. None of my troops are good enough to do any other attack. My Clash of Clans is in shambles right now, boys. It really is. My Clash of Clans is bad right now. I I can only do one attack because like my that's the only way my troops are there. I really got no shot, bro. Bro, like, I have no shot in class right now. I don't know what happened. Used to be tough. Well, I, I really can only do one, one attack, for real, for real. No, I really, I really only have the troops to do one attack for real. That's the only troops I boosted up, and uh, it's, it only works on certain. But like, if, if a base is the wrong way, that shit just don't work, for real. 
For real, for real. More zones ass. Apex is the best, bro. It's the best, for real. I'm ready for MLB. I, I, I dude, I, I gotta max other troops. I don't have any troops maxed, and the shit is rough. I, I need to set my, uh, what's more, I definitely need to set my, uh, my cloud flats on Clash. Hog Miner, that's what Skimble try to do. My, my dudes just die instantly. My shit sucks when I do that. The Cloud Miner, bro, like, and my dudes aren't maxed. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, it takes me a long more time to max that. All right, it just takes me forever, for real, for real. Werewolf the Apocalypse. Wolf. Wolves, you really don't want to be part of the stream tonight. You want me to play Werewolf the Apocalypse? Jesus, this didn't need a podcast. Episode 116. Zeros.